giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, and God, with Dash, the one to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And it's a serious shalom, one to the hockey that's out there pushing the sincerity and the truth, the sound doctrine. First and foremost, I want to say to Wadi Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, for giving me and the fellow hockey the opportunity to do these lessons, these videos, the opportunity to go out there on the highways and on the hedges, all to edify and warn the nations of Israel, to the so called Negroes, the Latinos, and the Native Americans, the 12 tribes of Israel. The ones that lost that is the commandments as well as the promises were given to. All right, Shalom. So you see here, man, this is going to be a really, really quick video. Can't really say much about this, but as you can see here, man, they're really about to start, you know, <clears throat> implementing more and more mandates on the on the thing and, and certain other things too, you know. And this is what you what you're witnessing here is a fall of their power, man. You know, is whenever whenever they want to, and I'm going to get a scripture on that, you know. When, you know, whenever they have to push like this, that means they know something. That means they know their time is almost up. You know, and you got a lot of people out here say that I'm not going to take it. I ain't going to take it. I ain't going to take it. You know, you had a lot of people out there to say you had. I ain't going to take it. I ain't going to take it. I ain't going to take it. But then, you know, fast fast forward. This was two months ago. But fast forward, you know, to now, present day, present time. All those people that said a majority of those people that said. Hey, yeah, I'm not going to take it. I ain't going to take it. Well, you know, look, man, they, they look at them now. They already took it. And the thing the thing that they say is um, I got a family. I, you know, I, I'm going to lose my job if I don't take it. You know, uh, yeah, I got, you know, I got a family to feed, man. You know, and they just they just scared me, man. They, they, you know, they, they put fear in me. So. You know, we had a guy actually say actually say that to us, man. They said, "Hey, man, they 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 put fear into me. I, they they scared me. They scared me." You know, and this is how this is always how Esau Edom always does things, fear, and they do it through fear. They do it through fear. You know, order order out of chaos. Order that chaos is fear. All right. <clears throat> so um, what I'm going to do is I want to get a get like. <clears throat> so I could get like two two quick scriptures. All right, this is the book of Revelation, chapter twelve, verse twelve. Now this is what I was talking about in the very beginning. So this is why they're pushing, what they're pushing so hard now. Book of Revelation, chapter twelve, verse twelve. Therefore rejoice, ye heavens, and ye that dwell in them. Right, woe woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea, for the devil is come down until you have a great trouble. I'm, I'm sorry, have a great wrath. Because they know if that they have but a short time, and I, I, it's in the spirit that I said trouble because they know that their 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 spirits are going to be troubled when they come in, when they're coming down unto the people, you know, of the world, mainly the so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans, mainly them, you know, because judgment must start at the house of the Lord, and the house of the Lord is the house of Israel, which are the so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans, the twelve tribes of Israel. All right. So they really about to start roll, you know, cracking down on you, Jake's man. And then it's about the time, you know, Ecclesiastes chapter twelve, man. It's it's been in my spirit. It's been in my spirit for a while now, man. You know, it's always been in my spirit. But now, now, ever, ever, you know, much, much more than ever. You know, and seek the days of the Lord in our youth, man. While the evil days come not. You know, or else you're just gonna be left out there. That fear is going to get to you, and this is why we pray that that fear don't get to us. Because that's this is again, man. This is how they control us. Fear, you know. So let me let me get the other scripture. All right. Because you know we know this man is the deceiver of the world, man. You know. So this is um, the book of Revelation, chapter thirteen, verse nine. Right, most common scripture that's been going about. It's been going about Revelation chapter 13 verse 9 if any man have an ear let him hear right so if anybody got an ear you know we'll let you hear if you don't got the ear to you again man you're just gonna be left out there and you just ain't gonna know what the hell what you just ain't gonna know what the hell to do all right verse 10 he that leadeth it into captivity shall go into it shall go into captivity so whatever goes around comes around he that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. What's the what's the modern day sword? The modern day sword is the gun, the military, right? It says, "Here is the patience of the faith." I'm sorry. Here is the patience and the faith of the saints. And patience, 
is long suffering, man. You know, and patience goes right along with faith. That's why I said patience and faith. You gotta have faith to be in this thing, and that's a tough trait to have. You really gotta have faith, you know, to be in this thing. That's a very, that's a very, very tough, tough thing to have is faith. You know, you got a lot of people out here say, yeah. I believe in the Lord. I'm trusting the Lord. I got faith. I got this. I got that. And you really don't, you know, because when they start the, with this article, man, when they start cracking down on you, you know, when they start cracking down on you people, then everybody's going to comply, man. And that's exactly what's happening. I remember uh, brother, I think it was GMS get this work, man. He put he put a video up, you know, he put a video up and, you know, he, he this Jake was saying, man. I, I, you know, I, I remember he said he he said I remember me saying that I'm not gonna you know take take it and all that. He said, but um, he said, but uh, man, they about to start playing with my money, man. They about to start, man. I got a family, man. I gotta take care of and all that stuff. See, this is this, again, man. This is how you this is how you get people. You start threatening their money. You start threatening their family. You know. So not threatening their fa yeah threatening their family pretty much when you when you take take money away from the household you threat you threaten the family you know when you take the food away from the household you're threatening the family so that's pretty much what they're doing it's threatening the family you know let's keep going um now uh, let's, no, let's uh go down here it says and he cause of all both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond to receive a mark in their right hand or in their forehead, and that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark, right? So, by you saying, um, by you saying the MO, you know, you know what? Because, you know, we can't even say that right now. We, we can't even say that anymore. They'll, they'll flag you for that because they know exactly what you're saying. You can't even say the alphabets anymore. It's really about to start getting hard out here. But you know what, man? Look, man, the Lord the Lord chooses who who he's going to choose, man. You know? This is really the Lord saying, look, time is almost up. Whoever wake up who is whoever wakes up. And whoever doesn't, just doesn't. The rest of the world is going to have to be left out there. Right? So how is he going to call, cause the whole world? So that's pretty much what that's saying. He caused of all, both small or great, rich or poor, free and bond. That's the whole world. You know? How is he going to cause the whole world to take the thing? I'm not, I, I'm not now, not this thing. Now, even with this thing too, because this, is, this, is, this ties in right along with it. But I'm talking about the mark. How is he, how is he going to, how is he going to force everybody to take the mark? By what he's doing with the, with the thing. You know, fear. He's doing it through fear, right? That's how he always does things is through is through fear. So as long as you got the fear flowing, you know, then you got you got control of the people. You know, whenever you got the fear of nobody could take care of their family, or nobody's gonna be able to eat, there might be a poss possible death riots. And again, man, that's what's going to cause riots as well, man. These mandates, they want to cause truckers to stop. Man, they want to cause everybody to stop. The grinders are going to be low, you know. It's only going to be a few that's going to get the thing, you know, in those, in those type jobs. Because everybody's talking about walking off. So what happens when the grinders are low? When, when the grinders are few, that means the jobs stop. It's going to be at a standstill. Okay? Really about to start getting crazy out here. You so-called, you, you man, you visualized, man. You thought we was playing, man. Hey, we don't look so crazy now. This stuff is really coming to pass. And you about, and the Lord's really about to start showing y'all that the Israelites was right the whole time, man. You see, Chris is trying to take credit for what we've been doing. But you see, the Lord, but you see the Lord is making it so they not getting the credit. The Israelites are. Right, cause years ago you never had you never had no goddamn Christian telling telling you about what the hell is getting ready to come to pass, man. You know, telling you that you are Israelite, telling you what you're supposed to do. They always told you don't even worry about it, man. Don't even worry about it. Just just believe. They don't even tell, they ain't even never tell you how to believe, and they still not telling you the correct way how to believe. They not telling you who can believe, right? 
So it shows you how much Christianity has failed us, man. Right? It says, uh, so that's how he's going to cause the whole world to, 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 to comply, man. But the elect isn't. You know, the elect, the elect ain't going ain't gonna to comply, man. All right? It says, save he that had the mark or the, or the name of the beast. Or the name or the number of his name, right? Here is the wisdom. Let him that have understanding count the number of the beasts. And who are the people that have the understanding? There is the prophets out here, man, the Israelites. I'm talking about the actual I'm talking about the Israelites that are behaving as Israelites. I'm talking about us. The ones that's out there doing the work, you know, keeping the laws, statutes, commandments to the best of our ability, man. You know? The ones that's going out there warning our people, man. They're warning ourselves. You know? <laughs> It says, for it is the number of a man, and his number is 600, three score, and six. And now when you look at every barcode, every barcode has that, you know? So, there's, I mean, how much more proof do you need, you know, to tell that this man is the pure devil, man? He's a deceiver, man. I have no, I, how much more proof do you need, man? You know, how much more proof do you need? So anyway, man, a little willingness lesson was edifying. You know, the short little lesson was edifying. If I could even call it a lesson. Giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shabbat, Shurikah, Fadah, Shalom.